Hey guys, welcome back to the Glamour Index. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my January favorites. I didn't film a December favorites because most of the things that I was using and I really, really liked was from the previous favorites video. I have some makeup, have a little bit of skincare, some makeup brushes, and a few hair products, but that's pretty much it. So let's get started. So first, let's talk about makeup brushes. I only have one brand, and these are the Makeup Geek brushes. Oh my God, I mean, these are total game changers. I actually got these for Christmas, and this is, I think, the face kit. This is the kit with like the five brushes. It comes with a cheek highlighter brush, an angled contour brush, a rounded blush brush, which is another little small precise brush, and then a face buffer brush, which is a foundation brush. Oh my God. And then the angled stippling brush. So, like I said, these brushes are game changers. They're so inexpensive. I think this kit was, I think it's $42. It wasn't very expensive. I didn't pay for it, but of course I've looked into it before. Um, the only brush that I'm not like completely in love with is this angled stippling brush, just because I haven't really found what the best thing to use this for is. I've used it for foundation. I'm not a big fan of using it for that because it is really tiny and it doesn't cover a lot of area. Um, I've used it for bronzing, like with cream bronzers, and I do like it for that, but, but so far I haven't had like an outstanding use for this. The brushes are so soft and high quality. These are all really, really dense. Um, my favorite brushes are these three right here, the rounded blush brush, the face buffer brush, and the cheek highlighter brush. I use the cheek highlighter brush for highlight, and I just, I love it. It's so soft. It feels so good on your skin. Um, this face buffer brush has become my favorite foundation brush ever this really just vamps up your foundation it provides the most coverage that you're gonna get out of your foundation it's so amazing it's so dense and what I like about this is that the foundation doesn't sink into the brush it just sits on top of the bristles and oh my god it just makes your face look airbrushed and perfect and then this little baby right here, the rounded blush brush. I don't really know why she called this a blush brush because this is pretty much a contouring brush, which is what I love it for. This is amazing for contouring. And I've always had a really big problem with contouring until I got this brush because I thought it was maybe the products I was using, but I think it was my brushes because this has completely changed the game for me. It doesn't matter, I've said this before, it doesn't matter how much skill you have. I think not only the products, but the brushes you use and the quality of the brushes really, really make a difference. And I have fallen in love with this for contour because it just really gets in there, like in the hollows. And it's so tiny that it's not gonna like cover a wide area or anything. It just, it's so precise. It, um, I just, I love this brush, it's amazing. Now the angled contour brush, it is nice too, but I haven't figured out what the best use for this one is either. Um, I don't really like it for contouring. I mean, it can definitely be used for contouring, but I like the way the rounded blush brush works better. But I will find some use for these other two, but Makeup Geek brushes are a definite favorite for me from here on out. So for skincare, I only have a couple of items. One thing is this Olay Regenerous Luminous Facial Oil Daily Treatment. Um, I actually got this quite a while back. I may have been back in the summer, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I saw someone using this on YouTube for a really, really dewy skin look. And this stuff is originally like $32. It's really, really pricey, but I found it on eBay for like $13 or $14. And I know some people are kind of leery of eBay products and stuff because sometimes they can be sketchy, but this is the real deal. And I've really, really been loving this stuff. I use it pretty much every single day. Um, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce the girl's channel, but it's like SCC something else. I don't, I don't think it's an actual word. I don't really get the same effect that she has with the glowiness. Like her skin was extremely glowy. And I know the video is called like dewy skin without highlighter or something but she had really really beautiful skin and this is what she used i supply this after my moisturizer it smells so good and i think this has a bunch of really good oils in here i know it has coconut oil maybe jojoba oil i'm not really sure but when i apply this my makeup does not get cakey at all um, my makeup doesn't like stick to my skin and cling to dry spots or anything and, and my skin just looks good all day long like it doesn't get cakey or look thick or feel heavy or anything on my skin it just it really really makes my makeup wear very very nicely and the last skincare product i have is this little baby right here i finally jumped on the clarisonic train this is the clarisonic mia 2 i got this for christmas um this is something that i've kind of always wanted but i've kind of just kept it to myself because i know it's very expensive and i've been using it every day since christmas this has really changed 
my skin and the health of my skin like this is amazing I thought this was like a gimmick or something because everyone talks about it and sometimes there are those products that everyone can talk about and maybe they just talk about it because you know all these other bigger people bigger beauty gurus on YouTube talk about it and love it but it's definitely worth it now a lot of people say that they have a reaction like there's like initial reaction when you first start using this because like the build up or something like everything comes to the surface I didn't have that reaction my skin has been completely fine I haven't had any major breakouts anything like that to it so I don't know if that's a problem with like just you know each individual person's skin so yeah I do use this once a day at least it makes my skin so clear like I said I haven't had a major breakout um, since like Christmas I really think it's like normalized my skin because I do have oily skin this really really has made a difference in my skin I have had acne scarring on my face and it's actually clearing up which is amazing because I've had it for so long it's an investment and I hate when people say that because that means it's expensive and you don't look at it as an investment when you first buy it but it's so so amazing and I really really recommend it and you guys know I hate recommending products that are expensive because that's just not how I roll but I think it's worth it next thing I've been loving and I've been in love with for a long time is this Pantene cleansing conditioner and this stuff is amazing I've tried when before I quit using when I don't like the company I don't like talking to the company and you know I had a lot of problems with them I just didn't think when did that much for my hair I know a lot of people swear by it but this one caught my eye because it is sulfate free and it does have sweet almond oil which if you know anything about when their main scent or their main um, like cleansing conditioner is their sweet almond oil one so that immediately caught my eye and this is only like five dollars at the drugstore this has done more wonders on my hair than wind ever did it smells so good it smells really really minty and it feels kind of cooling on your head like you can definitely feel the mint it feels like you like doused your hair in like menthol or something it's so good but I love that it's sulfate free because I hate sulfate shampoos and I really have tried to stay away from them in the past like two or three years it gives my hair more body it makes it shiny it makes it feel stronger it even makes it more full and like voluminous which is really really weird because you would think something like this would like flatten my hair out but with fine hair like I have and really oily hair this has really done wonders for my hair the next hair product I have is another hairspray which you guys see hairsprays in pretty much every video because I try so many but this is the Sammy Salon System skyscraper volumizing hairspray I actually really really like this and I don't know if I'm gonna like it a month from now because I go through hairsprays and change my mind about them so often it does give my hair volume it does have really really good hold it doesn't make my hair feel crunchy or hard or anything but it still has that hold I think you can pick this up at pretty much any drugstore I haven't seen it at Walmart this one isn't really a new favorite but um, I think Swabs reformulated their dry shampoos, which you guys have heard me talk about. But this is their Moroccan Infusion Dry Shampoo. They have changed their packaging, which makes me think they reformulated it. But it also says uh, new, no visible residue. The biggest thing I know about this is the smell. Oh my god, it smells so good. The older one didn't have much of a smell, but this one smells just like their other Moroccan Infusion line. It smells so good. It's just amazing. The one thing I've been loving is this L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray. Oh my god. I know it's expensive for drugstore, but this is one of the most amazing setting sprays I've tried. Um, I do love the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, which I haven't bought in forever. This is pretty much just like that, if not even better. Like This is very, very comparable to that. And I know it's like $14 to $17 at the drugstore, depending on where you find it. But if you use coupons or you buy it from Ulta, where you can get like buy one, get one half off from the L'Oreal line, it's definitely worth it. And I think it's worth it anyway. This really, really does extend the life of my makeup. It makes it wear so much longer. It takes away any cakiness or powderiness. I just love this. Next thing I've been loving is this Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. This is just a translucent setting powder. Now as you can see, I've already hit pan. I'm actually really, really surprised at this because this is only like 2 or $3 at Ulta. And it's so finely milled and so soft. And it is translucent, so, so I do like that. It's just, it makes your skin look so smooth. It gives like a blurred effect, which you guys know. I love that blurred effect. But I love this stuff. Next is this new concealer from Maybelline. This is the Master Conceal by Face Studio Camouflaging Concealer in the shade Lot. This is one of the best concealers I've tried. Um, for me, this is medium to full coverage. I think depending on 
how bad your blemishes are or your dark circles or whatever. It's going to depend on what kind of coverage it gives. It's so lightweight. Um, I haven't tried this on acne or like blemishes around my face. I've only used it for my under eye concealer. Um, it just blends out so easily and so seamlessly. It stays on all day. It doesn't crease. It Next thing is this Makeup Geek blush in the shade Romance. Oh my god. This is just a beautiful kind of pinky coral color with like gold shimmer in it. It's so amazing. Like I feel like it kind of blurs your imperfections and like gives your skin like a soft blurred effect. I've, already, I've said that like a million times in this video. And I also feel like it kind of like blurs the texture on your skin. I've also heard a lot of people say this is NARS Orgasm on steroids. Like it's better than NARS Orgasm, but it's amazing. It's like $10 and it's just, it, it's awesome. Next thing I've been loving is something I've had for a very long time, but I kind of just figured out the best way to use it. It says It Cosmetics Airbrush Illuminizer Poreless Finish HD Illuminizer. I've had this for a very long time and when I first started using it, I used it as a setting powder, which was a very, very bad mistake because it is very, very dewy. It's very glowy. But this is an actually really, really pretty highlighter. It doesn't have any shimmer, but it just gives a really, really nice kind of dewy glow to your skin. It's really pretty. It's very, very, very finely milled. And it is a loose powder. Um, it kind of has like a yellowish tint to it in the jar, but I don't think it comes off like that on your skin. I don't know if I would repurchase this, but it was a splurge like a year or two ago, so I've been really liking it recently. The next thing I've been loving are some eyeliners from Sephora, and it is the Sephora Waterproof Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear Eyeliners. And I got the shades Blonde Ambition and Surfer Babe. Blonde Ambition is like a champagne highlight shade, and Surfer Babe is like an ocean teal blue. It's so beautiful. The reason I picked up the Blonde Ambition was because um, I did have the It Cosmetics eyeliners then, and I was trying to find dupes for those because I wanted to share it in a video. But when I did my video, I hadn't used these a lot yet. But this one in Blonde Ambition is very, very similar to that It Cosmetics one, but better in my opinion. I like the color of it better. I think it's way more brightening. It's more of a champagne color, while the It Cosmetics one was more of like a pink highlight shade. It doesn't have glitter or like shimmer in it. It, it says shimmer on the packaging, but it's just, it kind of just has that nice metallic -y sheen. And then this one, this blue one, oh my god. It's so beautiful, it's so different, and these are so pigmented. I love the formula of these, they're so creamy, they're so easy to apply, they don't irritate my contacts or my eyes at all. They're like $10 at Sephora, and they have so many shades. The next thing I've been loving is something I'm not really sure if you can even find anymore because it was limited edition, but I wanted to share it with you guys anyway in case you did. But it's the Maybelline Eye Studio Limited Edition Eye Quad in the shade Nude Romance. This is one of the shades that came out um, with all like the nude shades that were kind of more, there were some mattes in there and they just had some really, really pretty shades. This has been my favorite go-to look lately. Um, I love the way these blend together and usually I'm not a big fan of the Maybelline Eye Studio eye quads because they're a little too shimmery and I love I love the way they feel and they're very creamy and I love the pigmentation of them but I just didn't like how they didn't throw in some mattes or you know, they were just, sometimes they didn't like pair up the colors very well but these work beautifully together. They blend so well together. They're so soft. They're so pigmented. I found this at Big Loss for like $2.50. So if you can pick this up or find it online or go to Big Loss or whatever, pick this up because this is by far one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes and actually one of my favorite looks that I've done. If you guys want to see a tutorial using this, even though it is limited edition and you may not be able to find it, let me know because I just, I love it. I may actually do one anyway. What I've been loving is this Ulta Contour Kit. This is no surprise, but I've been using this every single day. Like, I fell in love with bronzing and contouring. Like, I love these bronze shades. I've never liked bronzing before until I bought this palette. And this contour shade, which scared the crap out of me, I love it. It blends out so well. And when I first bought it, it kind of reminded me of the Balms um, Bahama Mama contour shade. And the other day, I was using the Balms to kind of see if they were like maybe a dupe or something. And I actually like this one better. Like this one blends out way better. It's way smoother and creamy and soft. I really think this palette is worth it. It's just, it's amazing. So that is it for my January favorites. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Mwah.